Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to a great new Game Maker tutorial in the tutorial series where I go through every single action in Game Maker, drag and drop action that is, and teach you how it works, and also give you the equivalent in GML code, so you can type it out for yourself. Uh, anyways, we're done with the move tab, and we are now onto the main tab, and we're going to start off with some objects and some stuff. So, let us create an instance. Uh, that is our first one. So, um, we want to create a box. Relative, or actually we're just going to say at position 0, 0. So, when, let's not do step, let's do create. Uh, so this ball, what he's going to do is when he's created, he is going to, eh, he, he's going to make a box right up here. So, when we run this, you're going to see... That is exactly the case. Um, and what we can do is add event um, mouse, global mouse, left pressed. Then we can go like this and take that out and put it there. And we will say box at mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y. And what this is going to do, every time I click on the screen, a box will be made and we want the box to create snap 32 by 32 how cool is that I taught you that before oh and if you haven't seen those tutorials go ahead and check them out so now when I click on a screen it will make boxes that are snapped to the grid isn't that so cool um yes it is Cameron thank you uh, so so yeah I'm going to go to our next thing and that is creating moving objects so we're gonna say speed is going to be 5 and our direction is going to be 0 and we're going to create a box R relative yeah we'll do relative uh, and the relative works the same as in this little create guy so we're gonna say relative to 32 and y 0 so we're gonna delete that and actually put that in the create event and delete that and so now we're going to create a box that is moving to the right for this little guy. And um, so when we run this, you're going to see he created a box. And that is what you can use to make your guy shoot a bullet uh, any day of the week. He can shoot a bullet any day of the week with that thing. Uh, so that worked. Oh, uh, one other thing. You might be curious. Hey, if our guy is moving... Does relative apply to uh, the moving of the guy? So we are going to check that right now. Well, let's take a look. Oh, and it does not. So relative um, does not apply to speed or direction, only to X and Y. So now you know. Now you're smarter. Um, we are on the main tab. So I want to create a random object. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this box, and I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to image... Uh, colorize red uh, so now we have a red box that looks kind of bad but uh, I want to create a random red or green box so we're gonna duplicate that make it red and I'll, I'll, I might rename them in my future but I might not so we'll see uh, I want to create a random box or box uh, and it will only do a random one of those two and not one of these so uh, I want him to be created relative to the side of me. So now when we run this, he will either create a green box or he will create a red box. And today he created a green box. Um, and it, he, he won't ever not create an object. He will always create an object. So however many you put in there is what, what you're going to get. So now we can move on to change instance. Uh, this is a little awkward but we're going to change into a box when we're created. Do we want to perform events? Not? Yes. Uh, so we're going to go with not for today. And we're going to say our, our uh, create things are we're going to move to the side at speed of 5. Um, so if we change this guy into a box, uh, say first we're going to start moving to the left. So this is kind of confusing, but uh, we're going to start moving left, and then we're going to change into a box. But we're not going to perform any of the creation events for the box. Uh, once we're a box, we will perform other events, 
that are boxy, but not not the creation events. Uh, so when we run this, you're going to see our guy is going to be a box moving to the left. But if we say, yes, please do perform the creation events, we're going to see that he will use the creation events of that box and start moving to the right. Uh, so that that's great. And so he changes instance and he keeps his speed and he keeps he, he keeps his other stuff. Um, but then he just changes all his characteristics to Mr. Box characteristics. Uh, so that was good. Learn that. Delete. Destroy instance. Um, destroy self. Uh, so we are going to destroy ourselves when we are created. So we're going to run the game and and Mr. Circle is nowhere to be found because he was destroyed. And so what we can do is mouse left pressed destroy yourself. Uh, so we can just go like that and run this. And now when we click on him, he gets destroyed. Uh, what you can do is use this to change instances destroy the box or destroy the ball and create a box uh, relative to yourself and so what you can do is say hey every time I click on a circle I want him to um, be dead and be a box and so that's exactly what we got here so that was fun and there is also destroy at position uh, so we're gonna say we're gonna destroy all the objects at position zero when this guy gets clicked on uh, so we're gonna put an object there and an object there just so you can see but when we run this and I click on the circle with Mammo, any objects at that position get destroyed. Uh, and you might be wondering, well, if the point is overlapping with an object, does it still destroy the object? Or does the object's coordinates actually have to be 0, 0? And this will show you. With Mammo, yes it does. Uh, so now you know, if this point is overlapping an object, it will destroy that object. Uh, actually, all objects. Um, at that position. So uh, now you know that. So say that this will be fun. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a game, uh, and we're going to say create. Start moving to the right. You actually have no control of your guy here, but uh, horizontal speed five and add event step. We want to destroy objects to the right of us. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, y zero relative. So now. We we have just made a mining game, <laughs> uh, so you'll you'll see this, and then. <gasps> That's terrible. Um, so now our guy is gonna start chipping away at these stones. <laughs> uh, so that was fun, uh, and that also concludes teaching you how those things work. And now I'm going to teach you how to code them yourself. So say, do we, if we delete that, uh, we when we're created, uh, we are going to say, in in instance, instance, create, and we want to say, uh, we want to create it at zero, comma zero, comma, and we want to create an object, a uh, box. So what we do is we say the name of our function, open a bracket, type in our parameters, close the bracket, blah blah blah. Um, if, you, if, you, if you haven't heard that 10 times before, then check out my other tutorials and I'll, I'll say it 10 times. Uh, so what this will do is when we run it, it will create an instance. Uh, and it created that little green box that came barreling out of the corner there. Um, now say we want to um what's what's the next one main next we want to create it moving this is something i actually only learned within like the last month i think i learned it about three weeks ago and i was i was pumped but you're gonna see this and be like okay well now i know but uh i just want you to know that this opens up like a billion possibilities uh, so we're going to say thing is our going to be a new variable that we're making up and we're going to say equals instance create. And now we can say, now we can actually, this instance create, not only does it create an object, but it also returns 
the information from that object. So thing is now going to actually be uh, the object that we just created. So now we can say thing dot v speed equals three. And what this is going to do is it will set the v speed of our thing to three. And so you're going to see when our thing is created, he will also have uh, three y velocity. That is, you, there are so many possibilities here. You could say, you could create a bullet and you can say thing dot uh, damage equals five or three or two. And so you can choose how much damage the bullet does when it hits things. And you can use the same bullet for everything. Uh, so this is actually, all right, I'll, I'll stop talking about that. Next, there is create random. So we want to create a random instance. Now we are going to say, uh, it, it's kind of awkward to do this, so we're just going to say n equals, uh, and put that over there, choose, and this is a new function, and it will choose a random variable of the following. Um, so we're going to go like that. Now n is either 0, 1, 2, or 3, and now we're going to say if n equals 0, then we will do this. If, what? Why did it do that? If uh, n equals 1, then we are going to instance create 0, 0 object, uh, object 2. Um, and we are actually going to take these other parameters out because we're only using two of them this time. So you can, if, if this doesn't make sense to you, that's perfectly okay. I will be explaining it more when we get to the control stuff. But this is pretty much, you can copy and paste that in there and you can expand this as much as you want. I think this expands up to 10 options. Choose can go up to 10 or something. Uh, I'm not actually sure, but you can check that. You can check your F1. Uh, and, and now if we run this, it will, oh no, no, oh, that won't even make any sense because these are there. <laughs> but now when we run this, you'll see it will create a random either green or red. And that will work. So now, uh, the next thing we have to do is, is show you how to change instances. And to change, what have I done? change instances we are going to say instance change and we are going to say I want to change into an object uh, box and I want to false uh, and this one here is whether we're going to perform the events or not and we are going to say no do not perform the events because I don't want him to start moving when he's created uh, except he he won't so now when he's created he will turn into a box which is exactly what he did. So that's good. Uh, instance change. New thing learned. Uh, the next thing we are going to learn is destroy. And what you can do there is instance destroy. And that is all you do. And that will destroy. Now this guy, when he is created, he will destroy himself. Boop. There, he's gone. Surprise. Uh, and then the last thing is uh, dis uh, destroy at a point. All right, so if we want to destroy at a position, we just say position destroy. And then we need to put in our parameters, which are going to be 0, comma, comma, 0. So at 0, 0, we are going to destroy anything that is there. And we are going to put these guys back here so that you can see that this does work. Boop, it's gone. So that's good, and uh, and you can change this to whatever you want, but that will destroy any objects at that position, and that does bring us to the end of the video. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and click the like button. Uh, if you're looking forward to seeing more videos, I will be going through every single action. So go ahead and click the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified when I do release the next ones. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.